you guys, so many people ask, what books do we have to prepare with? So I'm gonna share a little bit of that and a little bit more of our preparedness cupboard and food since everybody is so interested in that. But you guys, we are gonna do a meet and greet today and we're gonna do an interview too. So you guys, come back in the next segment and we'll share. Good morning everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. And I, I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry and our little dog is little Sally girl. And you guys, my allergies are going crazy. Every year, this is the week that all the gardeners cut all the grass down low and reseed for winter rye. They did it at my house yesterday. They've been doing it across the street around the block from us Next and my right allergies i went outside to take out the trash this morning and my allergies are going nuts if i sneeze one more time i have just been going crazy with it so i apologize for that if i sound nasally it's because i'm having a major allergy attack and i don't want to take anything do you, for do it you know what helps because i know you can't use the spray like i spray what eye drops the eye drops actually go into the nose well so. i'll use it because Everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, any allergy medicine, over-the-counter medicine. Last night I had to take a Tylenol PM at 3 a.m. I did not have a good night's sleep. Excuse me, I've got to blow my nose. Sorry, folks. Everything. Um, so any over-the-counter medicines. Like I said, the Tylenol, my eyes are sitting here crying. But... Um, we have been on the BBBE diet now. This is our 13th day or 14th day. Day 14th, 14. Day 14. And we did have, for all of you who are brand new to us, we had a colonoscopies a few weeks ago and we're still recuperating physically and biome, gut biome wise from that. That threw us yeah, for a Yeah, it's really loop. kind of weird. I never, you know, I've had these done before. And, and I never, never thought any of stuff. anything of it. And mm. yeah, we can really see a difference with our glucose and our ketones based on the week before we had them versus the week after we had it, drinking and doing the prep from it. Now, Harry had a polyp removed that turned out to be precancerous. I had two removed. So we've got wounds, internal wounds, uh, that we're healing from as well. So I just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention and I'll share our weight with everybody. I went up an entire pound. I took Tylenol PM. I am sneezing like a crazy person. My sinuses are swollen. You can hear it in my nose and voice. My eyes are watering. And Harry went up eight tenths of a pound, 175.2. Now, something else I am noticing. We are not eating during the day as much as we need to be eating because we are... Wait a minute, I can't see my eyes. Is, my eyes are watering. <laughs> Um, and excuse me. Well, yeah, we got a meet and greet today. We have a meet and greet today yeah. with Carol and Andy. I'm so excited about it. We're meeting them at a Starbucks. They have traveled clear across country to come to Arizona for a wedding. And she asked if she could meet us. And I said, of course. And here I am like, Which allergy I, I got to get ready for But it. we're going to meet them and I'm going to interview them. And she doesn't know that and she won't see this until uh, tomorrow. But I'm going to interview them because you guys... So many of the keto influencer and keto channels out there only interview the doctors and things like that. I want to interview my fan base, my regular viewers, the people that are constantly doing this with us. Um, I want to. I want to hear what the what the real folks yeah, what are doing, are really what we're all doing, through, because you, know? you can glean all kinds of good information from that. But you guys, I want to share our morning glucose and ketones, which were terrible this morning, right here. Okay, you guys, it's finger pricking time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, man. Harry's got to go and get his complete blood panel this morning. Yes, he does. We're going to test this. Oh, 
two point. Well, look at that. Wow, really Harry. Well, see what I am. Zero point three. No bueno. Error. Error. No bueno. Why do I keep getting errors? What? Yeah. Did you get another one? I went all p.m. last night at three o'clock because yeah, I could not sleep. That's sure. like wrong. Can I get more blood? Can I? I want to do another one. Ah, oh, you guys, I don't know what's going on. One fifteen. That's the highest I've been in a long time. And you're gonna get your blood done today. 117. So we neither one of us are in GKI. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, there we go. Hmm. 0 0.3. And Harry is gonna do a coffee segment for everybody. So he will insert that in the next segment, you guys. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome to Five Minute Coffee Break. Well, this is going to be a little bit different today because uh, uh, Gladys sent us some of these. A couple of them, actually. One for the house and one for out in the rig. And I haven't used one of these in a long time, so we're going to try it out today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use it, how to make it, and uh, basically how to enjoy it. So. First thing we want to do though, what, what I'm going to do, we got to make our beans and the beans, you want them to always come as being full bean before you do this. And the reason that, because you only want to grind up what you're going to use that at that time for the best taste. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to grind up these espresso forte blend, uh, basically for espresso. And this is from Memento Calf. So, so how do you say that calf or? Yeah. Cafe, right? Yeah, cafe. So you can see this is the one we're going to try. We're going to be using today, and so I'm going to get to grinding these up right now. So we're going to take the bag of espresso here, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put enough in here, basically for this. But first, I'm going to grind it before I show you how to go about doing this. So let's grind these up first. I just want to grind up enough to what you think we're going to need. I'm going to grind it too many, but you know how it goes. Um, so we're going to put this on here. And we're going to grind it up. You want these ground up really fine. As you can see it's, it's almost like powder in there. Yeah. So now let's talk about the little espresso uh, machine pot we got before we go on with this. So like I said we make it as a powdery as a powder as possible because we want the the full flavor of the coffee to basically come through, right? So, what you have here is this little this little thing. It's just this is great for like if you just want to make yourself a small cup of coffee, or if you want to you know drink it ex like an espresso. Uh, um, these come in basically three parts, pretty much. This is the container. Now inside the container, if you look, there's a little valve right there see it's coming out the other side that's pretty much to make sure that you you don't get a lot of pressure build up in here and it's in a pressure escape valve that's pretty much what it is so when we fill this up because this is going to hold the water so what we want to do we just want to fill it up right to the bottom of that little 
pressure valve right there. So we're gonna do that right now. And I like using really nice, you know, well purified water for this. So we're gonna fill this up right to that line. Right to the bottom of where is it? Right to the bottom of the valve. See it? Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna set that down. We gotta put our coffee in. Remember the coffee we just ground a few minutes ago. If you look in if you look in the bottom here, you'll see that there is this is the filter right here at the bottom, right here. Okay? Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna put this, this this piece here is going to go, when you put it together, it's going to go right up here. And this is going to have your coffee in it right there, right? Your your uh, espresso is going to go in there. And it's going to sit right inside like this. And then this bottom portion is going to be sitting down in your water. In the little water reservoir in the bottom that we just filled up. It's going to sit just like that. So... Let's go ahead and put our coffee in here. So we're going to go ahead, put this in here. See how it fits down inside? Then we take our coffee. Use a cute little spoon, and then we're just gonna fill this up. You don't wanna pack this in here. Some people kinda of like to, but I kinda of like it like this. Just like that. And this, as I talked, showed you, as you can see this, the little filter here is gonna be screwed on right there. So let's screw that on. You can see how it just screws right on over the You don't wanna tilt this because there's water in the bottom now. Right, you just wanna kinda of hand tighten it. You don't want it really super tight. When you look in the top, you can see there's kind of like this little raised area in the center. And what's going to happen is as the pressure builds up in the reservoir, it's going to force the water up to that first part, which is going to get the coffee, which the coffee is sitting right in here. Coffee is sitting right in here. And that's going to push the water up from the pressure, and it's going to bring it out the top and slowly fill up this reservoir on top. Now, when you do this, you gotta you gotta do this kind of you gotta be very gentle with this. You want this to be at about medium flame when you're doing this. If you got a gas one, you gotta be really careful. Electric, it's not as not as hard, but because of the heat, you don't want the heat ha hitting this handle. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set it on the burner in a specific way. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna set this right on the edge like that. You see this round circle right here? Uh, you, you want the handle, which is right here. It's kind of hard to see. But here's the handle, right? You want the handle to be away from the bottom or the edge. You want it right off the edge of the heating element. because you don't want this to get hot because you're going to be grabbing that. So then you turn this on to about six, which is about, about medium heat. When did you say six about medium heat? Right there, and then we're just gonna let that go. It's gonna take about it's gonna take about six minutes for this to do its its complete thing, and we will kind of I'll come back as it's getting close. Okay, so you can see it's starting to come out now. It's been going about six minutes or so, and it's starting to push the coffee out from the bottom by the way the steam it's going to go it's going through the coffee and up and out the little spout on the top and it's slowly moving out into the reservoir on top now you're not going to get as much cream of this way because this is not a super pressurized you know you got to have a lot of pressure to create a lot of crema so you're not going to get that but you'll get some you know that you like to you know take off with uh, a little spoon if you guys are really into it um, you know that way but 
I'm going to take this off now because it's just really going to town. I'll move it over here. Turn off the stove. And just let that sit for a minute. Because it's really hot right now. Now, so we have two different cups here. One's the espresso, one's the cappuccino. They say the cappuccino is what you want to have in the morning. And then the espresso is for the afternoon. I don't know. I kind of like having that big shot in the morning. But then what we do, we've got, we've got our coffee that's sitting in there. And if you want a full shot, you have it this way. This is the espresso. Now, if you want to have more like a cup of coffee or you know, like a cappuccino, I guess, you can pour this in here like this. And then, and then add a little water if you're afraid to have that full shot. And you can dye this down to the way you like it. That way you can have almost like just a cup of coffee. Now, I'm going to have Wendy come in here as my guest. Our surprise guest today is hello. Wendy. Hello, 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 everybody. I want to show everybody... It's kind of hard to see because it's, but you don't get the cream on, on this at all. That's um, because it's not, it's high, not pressure. high pressure. It's not high pressure enough. Now, yeah. here, I want you to go ahead and, and I'll hold it and you try well, it. Well, oops, oops, oops. Here, got, let got me got move it. the spoon and you know what? Wait a minute because it just got just a little bit, a little bit ambitious and I don't want to drip it. Okay. Now, this is the, um, this is esp espresso. Es Gotta say it right. Espresso. Yeah. No, it's espresso. Okay, you guys, I'm going to try the Momento Cafe Espresso. Got it? Yes. Yeah. It smells heavenly. Doesn't it? It, it smells really, really good, smells man. Good. you got to try this out. Yeah. This is the first time we've tried their... Uh... Well, no, we had it at No, no, at home. I'm talking at about home. home, yeah. This is stronger than when we had it there. Yeah. Their machine, I think, steams it differently. Oh, sure it does. Sure it does. This but is, it's you're good. Getting, you're but getting it's, a really jolt. It's packing a punch. Oh, yeah. One of these is worth like two cups of coffee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, easy. Now, right? did you want me to try something yeah, else here? Yeah, I have. I'll get it for you. Just and I'm try. missing I the to, crema. I need to, to try this. I'm missing the crema because I love the crema. It smells so good. It does. It's very aromatic. Very aromatic. Oh, got to have the finger out. Yes, you do. Ooh, that's really rich, isn't it? It packs a punch. Whoa, it's very man. rich. I can see why that's the afternoon. You know, after when you're coming down and you need a pick-me-up, that's a kick-me-up, man. Hold Woo. on, I'll get the other one. I'll get that okay. one. So this is... Wait a minute, let me get it. So this one would be for the morning time, right? Like you're yes, ready to kind of a add, coffee. Yeah, and you would add your foam to this if yeah. you used foamed milk, or in our case, foamed heavy cream or foamed half and half well, on you can top. Put, you can put cream in that too yes. if you want to. You and can you, fix it all up any way you want. Yes, and you, I'm just drinking it straight right now because we have Now, to. what did you do? You added just some, added some water, water, more like so an Americano. So it's really thinned out. Shot it's like 50-50 right now. Now that's very good. Is it? You yeah. like that? Yeah. I would add my cream and my um, my sweetener to that and have a sweet, delicious cup. Oh, yeah. That's makes it, that brings it right down to like coffee. It coffee. does. You it know, brings it down like, to a coffee. It's yeah. like an Americana where they use the shots and then they uh, fill it with the water yeah. kind of a thing. So here, very, hold that Very, very good. Hold that. You got it? Yep. You can have some of that. I'm going to drink this one. Okay. I'm having this one. Okay, dear. All right. Cheers. Cheers. So, hey, you guys enjoy your five-minute coffee break. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. This will get your heart beating bad. Oh, yes, it will. That'll perk your brain right up. Oh, yeah. Hey, everyone. We are with Carol and Andy, and they have you guys drove, too, didn't you? Or did you fly? We drove, too. Yeah, they, dro they did a road trip. Clear from one end of the country to the other. They came from Florida, and then where'd you go from there? To Colorado. Yes. Uh, Castle Florida. Rock, Colorado, and I also have a son in the uh, Denver area. So we visited sons and grandchildren yeah. on the way here. So you guys, I said, sure, let's meet and greet. Tell me where your hotel is, and I'll try to find a place 
um, near where you guys are at. So we met at Starbucks because I knew they would allow Kaya indoors and it's still warm here. Yeah. It's in the 90s here for us. It's cool, but for the, anybody else, it, it can be a scorcher. So we're inside having coffee and just having a great time. Now, tell me the story about you guys and your keto journey. Why? What's your why? Okay, well, I'm, I'm a registered nurse, and um, there was a, a gentleman that I worked with that never, he was losing all this weight, and he said he felt great. And I was asking about it, he goes, you know, keto. He says, no, actually I don't. So right after that, I actually went to Colorado to visit my my sons and grandchildren that year, and I looked it up. And, it, and uh, not only does it you lose weight, but it was talking about how it helps with arthritis and, and intestinal problems, which I have. So I called Andy, and I says, Andy, I says, I you know, like there's this thing called keto. I want to try it. It's supposed to help with arthritis. So that's when I come home. That's what we did. Because you have RA. Yes, I have RA, and I also have a colitis problem. She has colitis. So, yeah, yeah. Um, now, why is Andy coming along for the ride? Arthritis. You have arthritis yeah. as well. Do you Oste have rheumatoid or osteo? Osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis. Yeah. How do you feel? What's the difference? What are the things that you're finding being keto versus the sad diet? Oh, I can do a lot. And of course, lot. they turn the music on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can do a lot more for a longer period of time than I used to. When I, before keto, I would walk about a quarter mile, and, and my leg, my hip, would just burn. Yeah. Is this before you had your hip replacement? Yeah. And, uh, Harry and Andy are brothers. They've got <laughs> they're they're both bionic men now. Yep. So yeah. Watch out. Yeah, yeah. Harry would have beat Andy, but then I think he got that. You got. Yes, we got then. the apocalypse. So then he ended up getting his done first. Yeah. 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 We had to push us out. <coughs> no arthritis yeah. pain. The inflammation's it, been gone. It quit. And then uh, I guess the arthritis finally got so bad that even keto couldn't help it. Right. And that's ended up being severe, so that's why they replaced it. But I, my dad would look at me because I do his lawn and did, I did some of the landscaping for him. He's like, I wish I had your energy. And I'm going, what? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like people are like, wow, you yeah. know, I can't. You guys are so full of, you know, energy mm -hmm. and we're doing this and that and everything else. Yeah. It's like my kids keep telling me, well, mom, you're doing Thanksgiving, right? Oh, and you're doing Christmas, right? Yeah, you're doing, yeah. and I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. I retired. What about you guys? <laughs> yeah. You know, how about you guys do some of these things? You know, oh, you know, it's hard work and huh, uh huh. It yeah. is, it is. So did you guys have a hard time getting into it? Into it? Yeah. Uh, at first, until we got, once we got the car manager, mm -hmm. and we started actually putting things in, and you know, we started to figure out, okay, this is good, this is not good. Well, like what you were telling me earlier, you kind of followed him along. Yeah, the only thing I was you know? doing that wasn't cute was occasionally I'd have French fries or rice. Sure. Bread. Uh, bread. Yeah. But I was pretty much just, I would grill a steak and have vegetables or a salad. And I did that for like 30 years. So have you always been kind of a thin kind of guy? Did you no, say? sometimes I was heavy, but that was when I was eating trash. Oh. Like heavy, how, how, how heavy would you uh, say? 35 pounds more than oh, really? I weigh right okay. now. Oh, really? Okay. So that's a oh, good yeah, amount that's of weight. Substantial. Yeah. Especially at 5'6". Yeah, that's substantial. Uh, but then I just got away from that and I started to lose weight. And I was 160. And then when we started keto, I was 151, now I'm at 140, and I've been that way for six months now. Okay, when did you guys start? Do you know? Uh, July, three years ago, 2019. Three years ago? That's, uh, that's about when we started. 2019 yeah. was in, yeah, we did yeah. it in 2019. Yeah. Because we, we started it, but we didn't start filming it until after we had done it for a while, you know. Um, it's cute. Gladys, one of our viewers, she's in Canada, told me that October 8th was our keto anniversary from our first <laughs> keto -versary. For our, from our first um, film that we did, video yeah. that we did. So I thought that was cute. But it's her birthday, so she remembers. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's cool. funny how our viewers remember stuff yeah. or have gone back and seen something or or remind me of something yeah. because it's just we're just going forward some of these guys go back and, and mm -hmm. watch or whatever like that so it makes a huge difference how do you feel now with your your ra 
and you have colitis. You've had some major issues with colitis. Right. So, and like you said, the pain is pretty much always gone. Um, inflammation, I was just telling you that I kind of been visiting people and so I kind of got off the wagon a little bit and uh, and just fire. It didn't take any time at all. Um, but I like how clear I'm thinking. Um, just, I don't know, it's just, yeah. and, then, and I don't hardly eat. Yeah, regulated your But I eat too. well, you know what I mean? Yeah. I eat well. But like even just the, the trip, one of the trips down here from the, going towards the Grand Canyon, I went with 25, 26 hours without eating and I'm going, I should eat. I mean, it's been 26 hours. Right. And maybe I need to eat something. Isn't that weird? I Isn't know, it's, it's strange. Thing, man. Yeah. Yeah. And then the doctor said for our colonoscopies, you have to prep and you know, you're only going to be on liquids and it's like, oh yeah, no problem. Yeah. You know, fasting, right? No problem. But it's weird because our mindsets now, I think because of keto and the food that we're eating, our bodies, we're finally regulating our bodies to tell us when they need more energy. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah, and so. I think that makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Where before it was just like, oh my God, it's been three hours. It's almost time to eat. Are we going to stop and eat somewhere, right? Yeah. On a sad diet. We go to uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. and a snack. And you had to yeah. eat everything on your plate. Oh, well, yes. Or you were, else. yeah, you clean the plate club. You cannot from yes. the table. <laughs> but you can't have dessert until you clean your plate. Yeah. yeah. That was me at my family. So if we I wanted eat. the dessert, I had to clean my plate. Anyway, it was really nice of you guys to allow us to interview you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. We really, really enjoyed that. But yeah, it was so nice to meet you. And We are done visiting with Carol and Andy. You guys, we had a great, oh, great, great time. I'm great serious. people. We Easy just to had talk super and... fun. It was a super fun time. Yeah. But Harry and I have not broken our Wish fast they lived yet. Closer. Yes, I do too. It's five o'clock, you guys, and we are breaking our fast. Harry is getting a 16 ounce prime rib, rare then seared with nothing else. I am getting a bone in ribeye, 20 ounce medium rare and that's it we've got our club soda cheers cheers well I want my straw in mine so you guys it's just the meat that's what we are having she looked at us a little weird but she didn't ask oh, the girl so really yeah she did she says, well, you that's all her. you want you told her I said that's her. all we want we don't want any bread we don't want anything so anyway you guys will share our meat when we get it She's back. I'm back. You guys, I'm looking at the Texas Roadhouse steak sauce. And the ingredients, you could write a book. Look at look at the ingredients. Holy moly. Look at that, man. I think they got just a few a few ingredients in there. Uh, some of them I can't pronounce. And the first thing is water, the second thing is corn syrup. Oh boy. Cane syrup. Okay, listen, here you go. Water, cane sugar, apple butter, sugar, high fructose corn wow. syrup. Nice. You guys, oh my gosh. So, sugar, 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 and some water are the first five ingredients of this heart attack on a stick bottle of steak sauce. Oh my gosh. What about the what about that ketchup right there? That's ketchup. It's for high fructose corn syrup. Oh you know it is. Oh you know it is. Tomato concentrate, high fructose corn syrup, and then the second ingredient is just corn syrup. Then distilled vinegar. So it's tomato concentrate, then high fructose corn syrup and corn syrup. Man, you guys, I'm telling you. Corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup can be separated now. They can be separated. And then there's sugar, and then sugar cane sugar. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. You guys, a 20 ounce ribeye. Yes, indeed. And Harry got a seared. And you guys, if you have never had prime rib, you order it rare and have them sear it. Oh yeah, man! It's only you way to guys, go. it's a whole new oh, experience, experience. Oh, yeah. for prime rib. Oh, I'm yeah. just saying. So you guys, this is our dinner. 
This is our delicious. Look at that. Look at that. This is the dinner we are eating, you guys. But you guys, I have got to have. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm, uh, uh, I'm stealing something off yours. Look no, at this go right for here. It. Go for it. Go that for it. is the fat right there, you guys. And it's seared. Look at this. Oh my goodness oh, oh, oh. sakes alive. Go for it. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. So good. So good. See us over there? Huh? See us over there? <laughs> Boy, we made it out just in time, you guys. Yeah, this place has got wow, craziness. packed. I couldn't eat all my 20 ounce uh, prime rib. Uh, what did I have? A ribeye. 20 ounce prime ribeye. So yep. I'm taking some home. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh! How is your seared oh, prime dude. rib? I think it was the best prime rib I've ever had in my life. You said that at the silver I know, but it even, it even beat theirs. So you guys, get if you like medium rare, get it rare and have them sear it. Turn that out. Have them sear it, right, oh, Harry? Oh yeah, do it. Sear it. All oh new level gosh. on the fat. The fat Woo. just gets just delicious. Okay, you guys, we'll see you in the next segment when we get home. Hi, Texas Roadhouse. I love you. When Ari edited, he forgot to add this section of my uh, food uh, reserve and pantry, so I want to share that, you guys. I just have a little bit of keto chow here. <laughs> right. Got my keto chow. This is all reserve food. Yeah. And I've got more Harry's coffee shelf. I've got uh, my, need more coffee, my dried whole eggs. Some bone broths, more bone broths, tea. I'm a tea person. Oh yeah, here, this, this is all teas and coffees. Yeah. And then you guys, he forgot to share all of this stuff down here on the bottom shelves. Yeah, we got, this is the stuff we give a lot of the kids. And all of our meats from the Augustin are here and here. And then over here, here, keep going, and then go up. Yeah, see, that's this a, is that's This a, is vegetarian, vegan. Yeah, that's pretty much. You're not talking. And I want to show up here because I've got vegetables, freeze-dried vegetables, everything in the gold back up in here way back up in there and if you look behind my there's there's stuff way back in here too that he didn't get it goes deep so you guys I just wanted to share that because somebody said do you have any keto chow and I'm thinking oh yeah and more coffee we got at Costco just in case we run out of coffee because Harry doesn't want to run out of coffee well, we got lots of coffee, man. And we got mustard because it lasts forever. I just haven't been trying to put it away. I've got another thing of mustard here, you guys. So, yes, we definitely have more stuff. I just wanted to share with you all the, got some, got some of my uh, keto bricks. They're absolutely shelf stable. Oh, yeah, those are amazing. Absolutely shelf stable. So I just wanted to share that. We have a little bit of keto chow here, um, which is fabulous because you've got the beef stew. I've got the creamy tomato basil, and I've got all of my soups. 
in here plus all my little stuff and my big stuff because I just got my pumpkin my gingerbread my eggnog and my pumpkin I've got my snickerdoodle yeah pumpkin I've got my apple yes I've got my it. pumpkin it's right here Oh, there it is. Okay, good. And I've got all my little flavors. I like I've that got, stuff for Christmas. I just put a banana in my big banana container. Um, getting ready for November. Yes, indeed. So, you guys, I just wanted to share that because we have... Uh, he didn't show it all. He just showed kind of this middle part. And this is the flow over. Yeah. Right? And uh, as a matter of fact, what I like to do is take my canned goods from one section... There's some salmon, and I like to put. Everybody's been grass seeding today. You could tell. Oh, my Wendy's allergies! Going crazy. We had our grass seeded yesterday, and they chop the grass down really low, and then they seed, and everybody in the neighborhood's getting that done. You guys, everybody <laughs> in the neighborhood is getting it done. Everybody as a gardener. It's funny. You guys, don't forget. Get some Redmond oh, salt. Oh yeah, that's like really important. Because you can barter with salt. You yes. can barter. I have some sugar and stuff in here. I'm not getting rid of it because you can barter with things that you don't eat yourself anymore. Absolutely. Can barter. So these are the things that I need to come in and eat next. And then I clean this section, sorry. And I move stuff around. So this is what I eat. Move it over here. Anyway, you guys, sorry. My nose is going crazy back here. Anyway, just wanted to share. And, oh, books. They wanted to see books. You guys want to see books? I've got the books. Um, here, let me get rid of this. These. These are recipes of mine. That's her yes. book she's working on. I'm working on a recipe book. Yes, I am. Now, I did, have not put the new books that Gladys gave me in here. But up here, we have a whole bunch of stuff. We've got a, a solar. We've got uh, the tip of life-saving secrets of the world's greatest doctors. Basic electricity. We've got... The Forager Guides to Wild Foods, North American Edition. I've got um, When Technology Fails, a manual for self-reliance and planetary survival. Alcohol can be used as gas. This is a great one. First Aid, CPR, and AED. I've got my First Aid CPR books in here. I've got Practical Pole Building Construction. Um, Dare to Prepare. I've got my medical books when I was uh, emergency uh, in EMT. That's my school books that I had. I've got uh, U.S. Army Survival Manu Manual by Harry here. Hard copies of Water for Gas. Hard copy for Family Survival System. We've got, is this my me other medical book? Human Anatomy and Physiology, a laboratory manual. That's my other medical book there. And then if you look here, everything here has to do with holistic and um, healing and herbs and remedies. Um, I've got the uh, Ranger Handbook, of course, got here. My Ranger handbook the the yeah, that's right. right here. His Ranger Handbook, First Aid. I've got some Old Health and Long Life. I've got Worst Case Scenario Survival Handbook. Here, Edible Plants of California. Uh, early Uses of Plants. A Field Guide to Edible Wild Plants here. I have got Herb Encyclopedia. I've got, this one is a Desert Survival Book, which is absolutely oh, fantastic. Yeah, must, yeah. I've got The Forbidden Skills of Self-Sufficiency Use by the Mormon Pioneers. Excellent book. Absolutely excellent. I've got Forgotten Skills and Self-Sufficiency. More. I have got Wild Edible and four Fruits and Berries. America's Most Wanted Bugs, The Good, Bad, and the Ugly. I've got herbs. I have got 
naturopathic book of herbs formulas. I've got basic essential edible wild plants and useful herbs. A lot of herbs. Uh, Mandarin the mushroomer. Figure out which herbs wild harvest. Pacific Northwest berries. I've got this one. A lot of stuff's already in her yeah, head. Yeah, a lot of it is in my head. I've read every single one of these books. Uh, New Miracles Updated Anatomy for Underground Cures. Uh, from the Vault of Underground Cures. Uh, natural Remedies from Around the World Cure for 300 Common Ailments. All having to do with plants, herbs, uh, and the Little Herb Encyclopedia. That's just part of it, you guys. Trust me. So these are all the books we would grab. So that's yes. why she's got them in a central area because we could just grab them and go. I also have a whole other shelf over here of herbs, plants, flowers, uh, gardening. Uh -uh. Um, but I don't need to show you. But anyway, I have a ton Enough. of stuff. A ton. <laughs> Not including my... Um, keto chow area keto carnivore all of that but this is the important stuff right in here so i just wanted to share that with you guys and i have other books overflowed on the other shelf and it's the same kind of thing emergency preparedness and you know uh, all of those things so just wanted to share because so many of you asked me i thought i would continue and share and my nose is going nuts so i'm going to sneeze now and i'll see you guys in the next segment Well, you guys saw what a day we had. On the way home, we stopped at Bash's because today was the first day of their meat sale. They had 80-20 uh, ground beef on sale for $2.97 a pound. So I got three packages. This was $6.21, this was $6.33, and this was $6.36. I was thinking of a great meatloaf, a BBBE carnivore meatloaf that I'm gonna make tomorrow. And so I thought I need to go by and get some of this. Now you guys, my sinuses have been driving me crazy all day today. I'm probably gonna have to take a Benadryl because it's not alleviating itself. And I felt really bad because we had a great time with Carol and Andy and their dog Kaya at Starbucks. We just really hit it off. We had a great time, great conversation, but my nose is driving me crazy it really is so you guys i think i'm going to go ahead and put this meat away i think i'm going to close everything out for the night and i am going to take a benadryl yes i am so you guys please remember to like subscribe ring that little bell give us a thumbs up we'll see you right here tomorrow and sally would like to say good night dancing yep she just ah! did did you say did you catch it no i don't think so did you say good night okay oh there thank you there, thank, thank you, you thank you thank you, thank you. What you want? You want some goodies? Yeah. Okay, I did think so. Unless you want some. Mmm. So good, huh? There you go. There you have it. Say goodnight.